so we talked some about supplements and proteins. Accountability. Uh, we purchased a heart rate monitor mm -hmm. right after we started training. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me a little bit about the heart rate monitor. What, what did that mean to you? What, what, how did that change your accountability? Um, well, when you do cardio, you really never know what, what zone you're in your fat burning zone. So having a heart rate monitor on, you really know where your zone is and you can keep you, yourself in that zone. Otherwise, you don't know. You think you're killing it or you're, maybe you're killing it too much. Ha! And Thank you for sharing that. Keep going. Um, so it's just, it's just a, it's like anything else. It's a, it's an accountability measure. It's a, it's a, it's a yardstick to know where you're at. Um, by the minute. By the minute. You know, because yeah, because the more tired you get, you gotta, you know, take the level centers up or down on the machine to make sure you're still in that zone. You know, the more, you know, within an hour, you gotta probably adjust it a couple times. Sure. The reason why that matters is because if your heart rate's too high, your body needs fuel. To keep it that high, okay. And the fuel is going to come from muscle. Okay. It's going to come from sugar. It's mm -hmm. going to come from fat. One okay. of those three. If your heart rate is too high, okay, then your body's going to burn muscle, or it's going to burn sugar. It's not going to burn fat. That's mm -hmm. too hard to break down. Oh, okay. So, if your intention is to burn fat, and you're on a treadmill running your heart out, you're not. You're actually becoming skinny fat. You're storing muscle. Mm -hmm. Or you're, excuse me, you're storing fat and you're building muscle. Okay. Better worded. I took, a ladies up, I took some ladies up a mountain. I said, okay, all of us have to stay in our fat burning zone. It was very symbolic. I got them all climbing up the hill for this awesome like scenery shot, right? Because they all had heart rate monitors on, and I won't train somebody that doesn't have one, they were all in a line. The fat burning zone for each person was different. So they couldn't walk together. It's almost impossible to mm -hmm. do group exercise and keep everybody in the fat burning zone doing the exact same thing. So. I will do a little bit back to the cycling. I'll go and follow the class as much as I can, but that heart rate monitor dictates everything. Mm -hmm. I will not train in and out of that zone. So I'm glad you bought into that. You know, it's one of the most difficult things I, I do is try to talk somebody into slowing down. Yeah. But David, I don't feel like I'm trying. Yeah. Do you want to be skinny fat or do you want to burn fat? I don't care if you're, one of my favorite lines is, I don't care if you're staring at the treadmill. If your heart rate says 135 staring at it and you have enough anxiety just looking at it, stare at it. Yeah. I've had to do that. If I'm just kind of just, you know, one of those moves where I'm just jacked up, I'll just keep on lowering it because I'm also, I'm, you know, way out of the zone and too high. Yeah. So I'll keep on, you know, going and putting on the stair step, I've lowered the steps, lower the steps, lower the steps because I'm just in one of those moves where I'm just going a million well, miles an hour. And if you have that much energy, why not use that energy to build muscle? Right. Okay, go in there and kill it. Get your heart rate as high as you can. That's where the heart rate monitor comes in. And you look down and say you did a set of bench press or yeah. you did a dips or chin-ups or something where your heart rate should be higher mm -hmm. and you look down and it says 110 well you get that going up stairs with a cup of coffee right you know it it also works where you can go down and go i did not try mm -hmm. right. it's got to be 140 150 mm -hmm. that means i tried right mm -hmm. now same token if you look down and you go i just finished my set of chest press or, or chins and it says uh 155 that puts a smile on your face. Right. That accountability, people don't get it, but it works both ways. Mm -hmm. Either you didn't try hard enough or you tried hard enough. The watch lets you know. Right. It's the insanity of, of the pain game. We, you know, we play the pain game, right? Mm -hmm. Go, 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 hurt, 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 hurt. Enjoy the pain, endure the pain, find the pain. But everybody's pain is different, so sometimes you don't think you're in that pain, but the watch will tell you you're in the pain. Heck yes. Because sometimes you don't think you're killing it enough. In your own head, because yep. your head plays with your, your, head, sure. your head plays your head games. Yep. So if you think, okay, maybe I didn't kill him enough, but you look at the watch, and the watch says, you know what? You just nailed that set. Perfect example: abs. Yeah. You can do a set of crunches, and it is excruciating. Right. Look down, your heart rate it says 95. Yeah. That's a joke. Yeah. That is, a, if you did a set of crunches and you're, it's 95. I'm sorry, you didn't try. You don't want abs. Mm-hmm. You look down, and it says 125, 135. That's painful. Now. I will admit that sometimes my heart rate gets up to 145 doing a set of apps and it doesn't hurt as bad as if I were just do crunches. So sometimes the pain isn't necessarily the best sense of accountability. Even though I use it and it's in the top five, the heart rate trumps everything. Right.